It's a pleasure to sit down and talk with you. Same. Denise, tell me something about yourself. Where are you from? So I am from Jersey City. I was born and raised in Jersey City. And um, I am a plus size model. I'm an influencer and a fashion blogger. Okay. And I'm also transitioning kind of like into like the whole YouTube you know, stage. You might as well. I mean, <laughs> you have the following, so allow them to see who you really are. Mm -hmm. um, what's your nationality? I am 100% Dominican. Have you been to the Dominican Republic? Oh, yeah. Oh, my. I was just there like literally like four months ago. That's I go good. once a year. That's yeah. really, really good. Yep. Okay, so tell me how you got your followers. Like, how did you one day wake up when did you realize that you were famous? Um, so, I mean, I didn't, I definitely didn't just wake up and had all those followers. I mean, it was definitely a process. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I remember when I was at, you know, just 500 followers. And mm -hmm. I remember um, thinking to myself, like, you know, I really like fashion. I really like, you know, dressing up and, um, and taking pictures. And... At the time, you didn't really see plus size girls like, you know, like plus size bloggers because, you know, you would usually see like a certain size. And I'm like, hmm, well, why don't I try it? You know, I mean, as a plus size girl, maybe other plus size girls will relate, you know, and um, and then it went from there. I actually started taking pictures. I would like put looks together and um, my boyfriend at the time was taking pictures of me. He was taking pictures of my outfits. I would post them and I was getting a lot of positive feedback and everyone was just so like positive. I didn't think like, oh, wow. I didn't think that, you know, just by simply posting a picture of myself wearing a particular outfit, like people were going to be so like, oh my God, like this is amazing. You look amazing. And, you know, um, you're, you look so confident and like the fact that you, you look so confident and so beautiful, like, you're making me confident. I was like, wow, like I, I didn't think, you know, I definitely didn't see that happening. So I just kept going and going. And, um, I definitely tried to be, you know, as authentic as I could. And, um, and I simply just kept posting. And, and I think that's kind of like how you grow on social media. I feel like once you're able to kind of find your niche and mm. you know you could get some really good content like that's it just keep going just keep going when was your first interview i mean well audition when was your first my audition? first audition so my first like actual audition was when i had signed to the my first modeling agency in new york and um they they wanted to sign me i guess they had came across my instagram oh so they called you yeah Wow. Yeah, they had, um, they came across my Instagram and I guess, you know, they really liked my confidence and, you know, they, they really liked my pictures. And, um, when I went there, uh, they called me in, they wanted to sign me like ASAP. I was like, oh, now when they cool. contacted you, did you research them? Yeah. Uh, did it make you feel nervous? Like what if this is a scam or I how did. did you know if they were legit? They were legit. Yeah. So what I do usually to make like to find out if um, if they're legit is what I do is I go on their website and by going on their website, I look at the models that they represent. And in my case, when I saw the model that they represented, they actually represented some of my friends. Oh, wow. That's why. So some of my other model friends that I've met in the industry and right then and there, I'm like, oh, these are great models. Like, I'm, psst, yeah, go ahead sign me. I'll do it. It was a three year contract. And then. um and then, yeah, and then they sent me to my first audition within within like a week in New York. Um, I think it was for for Macy's, I believe. Yeah, I think it was for Macy's. And I remember I was like so nervous. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't get I didn't get it. I didn't get the job. But, How did you feel? I mean, I definitely felt bad. But at the same time, I'm like, that was my first casting. Like, why would I? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to feel bad. At the same time, I think that I went to the casting and I learned I learned, like, I, I kind of, like, watched my surroundings. I watched all of the other models and, and just kind of seeing what they do. And I learned, you know, that's that's what happens. I mean, I feel like, you know, if you get rejected, I mean, at least, like, know that you've had the opportunity to go you and you learned. 
Now you have a, a movement. What is the movement called and what is it about? So I have a movement. It's called Because It's My Body. So I came up with Because It's My Body. Um, it was funny. I was actually like at the park. I was like just sitting there. I was like reading a book and it literally like, it just came. It was like, it was literally like one of those, like an, an epiphany Sounds kind of like, heaven. yeah, like <laughs> kind of like one of those things. And the reason why is because... So that's one thing for sure. As my followers start to increase, you know, you get a lot of body shamers and you get a lot of like just negative people who don't agree with what you do and um, just people who are, I don't know, like, I guess miserable Mm -hmm. and they just kind of want to like put you down. And um, there was this like one comment that like stood out to me where someone was like, oh, you know, you... Um, you shouldn't be a model. Like you're fat. Like why are you fat? You need to lose weight. Like and I think what? yeah. And I, and I think that was the part. It's like you need to lose weight. And it's just kind of like that was personal. Yeah. And it's like why are you telling me what to do with my body? Like it's like me telling you like go get a tattoo on your face. Like why? It, it, it doesn't make sense. Like why would you be telling me that? You know. And it's just like like why is this person telling me what to do with my body like that makes no sense right and then that's when i had came up with the movement because it's my body but because it's my body is not just for like plus size women i think it's for everyone a- anybody yeah anybody because i feel like everyone gets judged and i see a lot of people hashtag because it's my body i actually went and uh clicked on the hashtag itself and a lot of people it's trending yeah <laughs> so that is awesome thank you <laughs> yeah i was super surprised i was like oh i'm so glad everyone's using my hashtag i'm like you know i guess maybe it's like you know motivating them to kind of just be yes, themselves very just motivational. Like, you know like yeah it's my body like, i could do whatever i want if i want to dye my hair green i could do that you know if i want to get like if i want to tattoo my whole entire body i could do that if i want to get a boob job i can do that because and you can it's your body like you know like people shouldn't judge you so tell me about your first major gig how did you feel what was it so my first major gig was forever 21 oh, nice. yeah it was forever 21 and um i was super nervous about that gig because i had to fly out to la mm-hmm. and it was my first time going to la and i was like oh my god and no and then the thing about it is that forever 21 they um they booked me for two days like literally like it was a monday from you know eight in the morning to 6 p.m and tuesday eight in the morning to 6 p.m yeah. so it was like literally two consecutive days you know, and I was just like, okay, um, I'm not like a professional, professional model. Like I'm still kind of learning. Mm-hmm. Like I think I'm pretty good at my like body poses, but like as as my like my face, like I do kind of have like a problem. So it's kind of like, do they really want to hire me? <laughs> and um, and yeah, no, they wanted to hire me, so it's like I had to go. You know, and so my boyfriend was awesome, and he went with me because he knew this was like this is a big gig, you know, and. Like, I have to go. Like, I have to do this. You had to face your fears. I had to face my fears, yeah. And so, um, you know, we we took a night flight to L.A. Um, nonstop. We got to L.A. And um, I think we got to L.A. at, like, 11 o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. And I actually had to wake up the next morning at, like, 6 in the morning because I had to head to the Forever 21 headquarters. Mm-hmm. So I, like, almost got no sleep. And I ended right, up... Right, because there's a time difference. Yeah, there's a time difference. And I ended up, you know, getting to the Forever 21 headquarters. And it was just, like, to know, like, this is, like, where I used to shop, like, growing yeah. up. Like, you know, like, I... Sh- my whole life I've been shopping here. Now I'm actually coming to the headquarters to model for them. I'm like, it's a little surreal like is it, is it yeah like is this really <laughs> happening like oh okay and yeah and i did it and honestly it was the best experience of my life i i shot the uh, both days i stood at an airbnb and then literally like the third day i took another flight back home and when i remember thinking to myself when i got home and i sat down and i literally i just thought about it i'm like i just went to la for the first time to shoot with one of the biggest brands yeah and I just got back. Like, did you feel like accomplished? I felt more than accomplished. I I felt like a sense of like euphoria. Like it was just like, like, like I could not get enough. Like it was like the the best feeling in the world. And, and it made you want to book something else. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. That sounds amazing. Yeah. And then then the best part is, then when you go shopping and then right. seeing all of my pictures <laughs> there. I mean, 
Look, I'm not going to lie. I remember it. Like, did you take some pictures of your own, of yourself? Yeah, I did. I screenshotted some of my pictures and like posted on my Instagram. Like, look, guys, I modeled for Forever 21. And everyone was like, oh, my God. Like, that's awesome. I'm like, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> so at one point, you got offered a gig, correct? And you did not take it. Yes, I did. Um, there was one time where... Um, I was kind of going through some things and uh, Target had offered me a gig also in California. Mm -hmm. But around that time, like things were just, I was just kind of going through kind of like a rough patch and I didn't feel comfortable flying to LA by myself. And so I, I declined. And like to this day, like I'm just, you know, I always kind of think about like how it would have been, you know, like, uh, like you know, like how would the pictures have looked and like how would it look in my portfolio that, I, you know, I, other than Forever 21, I also modeled for Target mm -hmm. for, and and this was for actually for a denim campaign and, denim. and yeah, and I, I skipped out. It happens. Yeah. Do you ever feel like your anxiety stops you from doing things that you would love to do? Oh yeah. All the time. All the time i mean like i literally like just you know because it, it it just depends on my like on my anxiety and like how i'm feeling and sometimes there's just times where like my friends are gonna go out um you know they're gonna go away for the weekend and i don't go because i'm like no oh, i've been feeling too anxious lately so i'd rather stay home so it sucks is there any way have you done anything to kind of calm that anxiety down what what skills do you use to relieve yourself from anxiety so I'm still kind of like learning on like certain things that um that I can do to help my anxiety so for example I'm like kind of learning about like um natural remedies to kind of help relieve anxiety um yoga meditation and you know and i mean at the same time i don't feel like it's taking my anxiety away completely but at the same time it does help a little bit and i'm kind of able to kind of just get through the day with just meditating and just kind of like you know taking deep breaths and yeah it's so interesting to know like sometimes people see they see public figures mm -hmm. and they don't see what it takes to get up every day and entertain people <laughs> is not easy. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's not. really not easy entertaining people. They don't see that you have a life, you have feelings, you have emotions, mm -hmm. you go through stuff, mm -hmm. you know, and this is basically what this interview is about. It's called what you don't know. Yeah. And a lot of people see Denise Mercedes and they see this luxurious full figure model but they don't see what it took to get there. Yeah. They don't see the nights where you had anxiety yeah. and you didn't want to go places yeah. or you felt like giving up. Mm -hmm. um, if you had anything to say to your followers or to anyone that wants to go for their dream or wants to go for their God-given talent, what would you tell them? What would you tell them in a moment where they feel stuck? Well, in that case, um, because I mean, I've like felt stuck, like literally I kind of feel stuck almost every day, every you know? Day. And um, you just, it's just one of those things where it's like, if you really want to do this, you'll just kind of know, like you just keep going. You just literally just keep going, you know? And then, because that, you see, that was the thing. When I was doing this, you know, I, I was getting rejected a lot at castings and just like, you know, brands that I wanted to work with. So obviously in that case, you know, I'm not going to want to continue. I'm not going to like, no, you know, I just, I can't do this anymore. And listen, I've said that before, like, mm -hmm. I, I can't do this anymore. But it's like, okay, well, look how far I've come already. It's like, why well, stop now? You know, and I look, I'll tell you one thing. When I started in this industry, I've seen a lot of other models who kind of started around the same time that I did. They've been stopped. I don't see them anymore. That I, they don't post pictures. They they stopped, and it actually makes me really sad because I'm like, we started at the same time. 
You know, you could have kept going. You could have, you know, gotten to where I've gotten or even further, you know, but you stopped. Why'd you stop? You know, so it's like you just have to keep going. You really just have to keep going because like the rejection part is just like it's temporary. Like, you know, you, you got rejected, but then what? You're going to go to another casting or you're going to go, you're going to have another opportunity or like something else great is going to happen. So it's just kind of like. Rejection is temporary. I like that. Yeah. I like that. It is. Well, it was definitely, definitely nice interviewing you. I have known you all my life. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Like since daycare. (laughs) No, literally. Literally. No, literally. I'm And I haven't seen you in years. And then we (laughs) caught back up Mm -hmm. and I'm so proud of your progress and I'm happy for you. And I'm happy that you are the first to be interviewed at Old Dolly Networks. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Thank oh you so much. <laughs> and hopefully we will do this again soon. Yes. Because who knows, maybe in like a couple of years, like, you know, it'll be even more different opportunities that I could talk about. And of course. You know, just keep inspiring everyone. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> we're done. And we're wrapped, y'all. <laughs>